Many cigarette smokers say vaping has helped them quit. But national statistics show the vast majority of Canadians who start vaping were never smokers in the first place. They are new nicotine users. They've integrated a toy, essentially, with uh, a, an addictive product. And it smells, this one is mango. National health groups say the federal government has failed to deliver on its promise made three years ago to ban vaping flavors. We have over 300,000 Canadian kids using vaping products in Canada. This problem is out of control. And, and the main reason they're smoking vaping products is because of all the flavors. But the vaping industry says fruity vape flavors are what help adults quit smoking. If someone that smokes and they all of a sudden try a mango flavor, there's no doubt that they would easily transition because it's much more palatable. Health Canada has yet to act on its other plans to regulate vape designs and packaging or make it harder for youth to buy them. The promise to ban flavors by this past spring, that never happened. The health groups say Canada's addictions minister should resign. The entire regulatory process has been stalled. And it was stalled after meetings with the vaping industry. Records show Minister Yara Sachs met with the vaping lobby right as the regulations were set to be finalized. After three years of consultations, Health Canada now says it needs to do more. In a statement, Sachs's office says, We have been clear, flavors are going to be restricted. But we need to do this right so that the regulations do not create loopholes that would put our youth further at risk or be hard to enforce. While the federal government consults, some provinces and territories have restricted vaping flavors. But people are getting around that by getting the products shipped in from other provinces. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.